I'm going to ask you all some questions that that come out from our segment called Bubble Secrets. Okay, so you all have to wow. answer for each other. Let's see how much do you all know each other in that case. But this is not regular <laughs> questions. It's Bubble Secrets. So tell me yeah. um, for each other. Okay, if anyone has stolen things from the hotel room. Um. I haven't. So don't look. You know, at me. so I have a thing for the um. You know, hotel room slippers. I really have a thing for yeah. them, and this, that's not really stealing because they very graciously give it to you. <laughs> yeah, I think I don't know where we were staying, but they were like really pretty. They were not the white bathroom slippers. This was uh, that slippers. Istanbul, uh, the Saragan Palace. The Saragan. Why do we have to say it's too bad? Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> we, yeah, I already called for two, three pairs, and I took them. And home. they were so beautiful, and like they were velvety, and I mean, bathroom slippers so kind of didn't look like they were like proper greyish velvet slippers, and we were just like, "Yeah, we're going to stay in the house. No one's going to ask us anyways." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's about it. Yeah, that's but that's a good one. one huh? I mean, I'll keep the hotel name mm-hmm. in my mind. <laughs> yeah, we must. <laughs> Next time we go to Istanbul, I'll tell you. It's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, tell me, um, have you all ever faked your birthdays for free cake and food? I faked my birthday to enter a bar. Yes, I have. But that was not in India, and uh, you know, I I just pretended like it's my 18th birthday. So, oh my God, I'm gonna get entry. And it happened a couple of years ago. Couple of years ago, but never anything else. Not for any free cake and all. Just entry ke liye, and I paid for everything that I ate and drank. <laughs> <laughs> ever ever sneaked out of the house? Yes, multiple times actually. The, the thrill of that just never dies somehow. Yeah, it's always fun. This one's a little yucky, but I know that I have done it alone, so I don't mind asking. Have you ever licked the plate after eating your favorite food? Of course, yeah, it's big of foodies, course. It's big so. foodies, and you know, uh, <laughs> that's when you know something's extra delicious and yummy. So definitely count us in for that. Yeah, we have, we have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Tell me, do you all have fake accounts on social media to stalk people? Oh my god. <laughs> No, but you know, are um, we supposed to talk? This is like really controversial. These are like proper those bubble secrets only that we've never spoken about. <laughs> so we have a girl group, right? And uh, one of my really close friends was once going through this one breakup. So <laughs> the five of us, all girls, decided that okay, we're going to make this one group where we can follow and see, you know, sometimes, whoever we like. Sometimes we just want to see somebody's story and not have them know it. <laughs> so it was one of those things. And then since then, all of us have the have ID the and password, password of that one fake account. And we, we just don't use it we all use it and see whatever we want to see. It's like a, मतलब it's between five of us. It's <laughs> only five of us. No, a, a group account. A, a group account. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell me, have you ever made prank calls to your crush or anyone in general? No, yeah, prank calls are done now. Like yeah, that's just yeah. like little too teenager to do. Like we <laughs> probably make the call and be like, "Listen, what's up?" <laughs> but but have you ever no, done that when you all were teenagers? Because of course it's too teenager to do. Maybe we've got prank calls. Like I remember mm-hmm. that very clearly. But I'm not a big prankster, so not that for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, tell me anything that you guys started to do but did not end. You know, जो चीज़ की शुरुआत की और ख़त्म नहीं किया, but you'll regret. Mm-hmm. Well, I used to. Uh, so along with, of course, following music, I have a passion of uh, um, just just creating garments and clothes and sketching. I used to do that a lot at one point and. I would still like to continue that someday because I'm very enthusiastic about just generally fashion style trends, and I I like to style my clothes even when I'm you know performing and I'm on stage. I like to be very creatively involved. So maybe that will that will be something that I will end up doing. That's just one thing I really stopped and I used to do a lot of, like one of the dreams. Yeah, for sure. I think for me, uh, this is going to be a very boring and studious answer. But I really like it was my dream to you know have this entire university life and go and like study at this amazing uni. I always had that, but I started working so early as almost sixteen. So I was literally on stage and touring. So I I did open school like for the rest half of my college and degree. So I never got to you know go Stay to college away. and you know have that entire fun college life that I dreamt of, and that was something that I I'm too. Old for it now, like oh, I'm twenty five, but we can yeah, still do a crash course. Yeah, but it'll never be the same. So yeah. I mean, that was something I have a little bit of a regret, but definitely no regrets because I think music is a full time job. 
That's lovely. But hey, you're never too old to learn new things. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Love your energy, man. Love it.